Hey guys, I'm Creobyte, and over the past couple weeks at Lightwolf Studios, I've been making some pretty good progress and making some pretty big changes to that hacking-themed puzzle game that I've been working on. But before I get into that, I do want to go over a bit of how the idea came about to begin with and where it's evolved from there. That way, you all have a better understanding of where I'm taking it now. So the idea generally came about back in 2019 when I participated in the 44th Lundare Game Jam and made a game called See No More. It was based around a virtual desktop environment, had a hacking themed story to fit with the theme of the jam, and had these grid puzzles that were kind of the core gameplay of that game. Now, a little while later after the jam, I was trying to figure out what game to work on next, and I thought it would be interesting to take that puzzle idea a little bit farther into a fully fleshed out web game. I ended up calling that Cyberhack, and after a few months of development, alongside some other projects, I eventually got to the point where it was pretty close to being ready to release. But at the same time, there were also some pretty big changes happening in regards to being able to monetize a game like this. For example, Congregate ended up shutting down their monthly contests, and that was a pretty big indicator that things were definitely changing. And it got me thinking a bit about the direction I really wanted to go with these sorts of games. Ultimately, I want to be able to make larger scale projects that allow me to really dedicate the time that I want to into them, but also, of course, are sustainable and actually pay me well enough to be able to keep doing that and make games for all you guys to play. And generally speaking, for a lot of these projects, a much better fit would be to release paid games on Steam. So I decided that it made sense to take a bit of a different direction with this game, make it a little bit bigger, and release it on Steam. But at the same time, I was also thinking back to how the idea came about to begin with, with See No More in that game jam, and I realized that it'd be interesting to take the desktop environment and the story elements of that and mash it back together and make something really interesting. So that's the direction that I've been headed for quite a while. I've been trying to build out the desktop environment, I've been trying to come up with an interesting story and figuring out how all the pieces play together but as I've been progressing in that direction I've started to realize that there are a few issues partially just due to the scope of the project especially as my first Steam game it's definitely pretty ambitious it's also pretty niche and there's a few other things to do with the actual game design that don't quite mesh together as well as I would have liked so then recently at the beginning of the year when I was figuring out what direction I wanted to take this project I was thinking back to all the different forms the game has taken over the past months and year and a half, I guess, at this point, and realizing that really the puzzle mechanic is the main aspect of the game that I should be focusing on. The other stuff with the desktop environment, that's really cool, and I do want to explore that, but I'm going to be throwing that out the window for now, for this game, and focusing purely on the puzzles and just making a really good puzzle game. That's going to be a much more manageable scope. It's a lot less niche, so it's more marketable for the time being, while I'm a fairly new developer to the space. And I think it's just a lot more achievable within a shorter time period, a lower time investment into the project, which is definitely something I need to focus on at this point. So that's what I decided on, and over the past couple of weeks, I've been focusing on rebuilding the game in Unity, as opposed to the previous tools using Electron for all the desktop-based stuff, and I've been making pretty good progress in that front. I've got all the basic gameplay technically working, although it looks a little weird right now because it's not drawing lines, and it doesn't change the state of certain tiles, whatever. The art style is going to be changing too. Uh, not drastically, but a little bit more. Right now, I'm just mimicking what the Cyberhack web game looked like. But anyway, obviously, now I'm focusing on the puzzles almost entirely, so there needs to be a good number of puzzles. The web game had 26 levels that I built for it, which is pretty decent for a web game. Kind of small, but good enough. Um, for this being a paid game, it definitely needs at least about 100 levels. And then the other aspect that I realized that would be a really good fit for this kind of game is the level editor. I was thinking about that for the web game anyway, but if I have a really polished up, easy to use level editor, and if I allow players to create custom level packs, and share those via the Steam Workshop and have it all really nicely integrated into the game, I think that is going to be a really great way to provide more value with the game, which of course allows me to ask more reasonable price and everybody's happy. So 
Anyway, that's the plan. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date on any farther changes, generally speaking. I'm going to be continuing to space these videos out a little more. That way I do make sure I'm focusing on the right things. But I do want to keep you guys up to date as well. Now, if you do want to stay a little more in the loop with all the behind the scenes stuff, you can hop into Lightwolf Studios Patreon for like a dollar a month. I generally post a lot of stuff that I'm talking about here a little bit in advance over there. So if you want to help support the studio, but also at the same time get a little behind the scenes information and be a little more a part of that process, uh, that would definitely be greatly appreciated. We got some higher tier rewards as well. So go ahead and check that out down in the description below. And yeah, we'd love to have you over there. So anyway, that is going to have to be it for today. So as always, I do want to thank the contributors over in the Live Studios Patreon. It has been a massive help. And yeah, I'll see you around. Goodbye.